So here we go again for the third day of these World Para Powerliftings Parapat American Open Championships in St. Louis, the William Perso Center in Chesterfield. Penultimate day. It's uh, in some ways it's gone quickly, and in other ways it absolutely hasn't. We still have got three men's events to go today over the next four hours. The men's 97 kilo final coming up in just around two hours. We'll have the start of the men's up to 107 kilo final. And the over 107 decider as well. An interesting day continuing. So this is the warm-up area. This is across the hall, if you like, from the call area, which is at the back of the stage. There's the elongating schedule. It is uh, 3.07 Central Time in the USA. Men's 97 final, followed by the next two and we start with Scott Glass at 99 kilos and all the way up to Fabio Torres going for 210 the reigning America's champion the 10 have won major championship medals in their time three are from outside the Americas Sawaid Alsanea of Kuwait Ashkat Shimanov of Kazakhstan and Andrea Quarto of Italy. We were also due to have uh, Jaginder Singh of India, who is not in this. And our record holders. Mohamed El Dib, 216. 243, the world record from six years ago. <laughs> Matis the Asa Silva with the world and America's next gen record, the junior record, world record, 193. Jose Castillo, the American record holder, full stop, and they link to 29. the field for this men's 97 kilo final. Canada, Kuwait, Panama, Kazakhstan, Chile, Brazil, Italy, USA and Colombia all represented. Nine nations among the ten. For Panama, Gabriel Vasquez. For Kazakhstan, Askat Zumanov. For Chile, Frank Feliu. For Brazil, Andre Luiz Paz. For Italy, Andrea Quarto. For Brazil, Jose Silva Lima. For the United States, Bobby Body. And for Colombia, Fabio Torres. 210, his target in the opening round. Select. 
reaction of the referees to come as well. And there they are, Richard Mason of Canada, Mahmoud El Shabeni of Egypt and Eliana Raka of Greece. And Geraldo Sakamoto of Brazil. In charge, the technical controller. led by Luis Gustavo Lete of Brazil. It's the technical delegate. So five minutes to go to this men's 97 kilo final. We have lost Jaginder Singh of uh, India, who was in the original entry list for this, going into these championships. But it's still a full field of 10 as it stands. First round left, starting at 100, going all the way up to 208. Still really busy in that warm-up area, and then they move into the call room behind the stage. This set to be emptied, and the field for the men's up to 107 kilo final will be going in there. Jaginder Singh will be competing in that 107 kilo final. By the way, he just weighed in above 97 kilos so we don't lose him we do get to see him at that instead and that will be on in uh, just over an hour and a half's time but we've got the next event coming up the men's 97 kg final scott class going for 99 Soaid Al Sinea, 100 for Kuwait. Fabio Torres all the way up at 210. Ninety-seven kilo final won by Fabio Torres four years ago ahead of Rodrigo Marquez of Brazil and Frank Feliu of Chile. Two hundred and eighteen was the winning lift. Kai Huichao of China had uh, taken the open silver. He went up to 216. We'll see how far we can go today.
question. So is that all you got? Yeah, look at you now. So is that all you got? Take a look at you now. So is that all you got? Look at you now. Is that all you got? Yeah, I know you got one question. So is that all you got? So here we go. Underway in the men's 97 kilo final. And 10 in this. So first to go for Canada, major championship debut for Scott Glass from Regina and Saskatchewan. He started competition in 2019. He just fell into it. Hadn't been in the sport the last time we had the America's Championship. Accidents in 1998. And on stage with him, Eric Baudry. Canadian coach from Edmonton. So this for a, a lifetime best of a hundred. And to get off to a very, very good start in the third heaviest of the men's weight divisions. And that is a very good way of going about it. It's a good lift, it's three white lights, and Scott Glass sets the standard for Canada. No drama. Just came through it. Punched through and got a very effective lift. And at 100, lifetime best straight away. There's been effectively a swapping in the events between Sawaid Al Sanea of Kuwait and Jaginder Singh of India. Singh moving up to the 107 kilo event and Sawaid. Coming down to 97 for Kuwait, his first major championship. This for 103, which would be a new lifetime best. Chance to put him in front, one of three from outside the Americas competing in this, trying to make a bit of impact in the open competition. Al Sanea for Kuwait for 103. No, no joy. All against him on the stop sequence, all three. And Suaid al Sanaya. It's got a bit of fixing to do, so it's right here. Not looking like it was considered to have touched on the chest. Next up for Panama, Gabriel Velasquez going for 105. The Central American Games bronze medalist in 2018. No mark in the last Americas. So it's the same year. On stage with him, Maximo Viquez. 
would be a new lifetime best. 95 is his current mark. Finished down in 22nd in the World Championships in Mexico City in 2017 at the Olympic Basketball Complex in 1968. Manuela Pinilla has uh, been coaching as well him for a few years. The other man behind the scenes for him today, Santa Maria. So Gabriel Vasquez for 105. Two, one against. He misses out the press sequence. And he's failed to score a mark on the board. Close to it, but no success on the press from here on in. Yeah, problems right at the top. Couldn't lock it out. It was not pressed equally and becoming all the more obvious when he tried to get the lock. It kept moving. On his right side, left side had hit the summit. So next up for Kazakhstan, Askat Shumanov. Now we didn't see him compete in the Asia Oceania Championships the other week. It would have been Nice to have done so. 17th in the World Championships in uh, Belize pre-Christmas. He's based in Taraz. His regular coach is Ruslev Greyev, who, as we always say, it's not necessarily who ends up on stage with him on the day. The second major championship. So 145 for Shumanov. His lifetime best is 161. So he can go way beyond this on his day. Is this his day? Well, that shot right up. Shumanov gets it. Three out of three for Askat Shumanov. He is our new leader in the open competition, leading 145. And that was good, strong lifting, really. Got that absolutely straight and true. So now for Chile, Frank Feliu going for 155. Now how he succeeded a lot in the past, the Pan Am bronze in 2015 in Toronto, America's championship bronze last time out in Bogota. He'd been fifth in the previous Americas, fifth in the most recent Pan Ams. Three world championships to his name. Best finish 16th, eighth in the European Open Championships in Berg Sumer in France four years ago. Victor Rubilar, the regular Chilean, usually.
Synopsis for 155 for Frank Fellew. His lifetime best is 182. So it's well, well, well achievable. One minute remaining. Dale, controla. Start. Saca controlado. Saca esto. Dale, dale. Rex. That is spot on. No issue at all for Frank Fellew. He has had a world championship quite recently in Nur Sultan three years ago where he didn't register a mark, but that's not happening here. Went in quite low in terms of his best ever score. Takes the lead on 155. There's still five to go in this opening round. It's Andre Luis pass next for Brazil. The America's bronze medalist last time out. He's pitching himself with the fourth, he fourth heaviest weight of the America's championship in the opening round, going for 177 which by four kilos would be a new lifetime best. He's based in Uberlandia, one of the national centers. He's with the CDDU Fudel Club. Weberton Santos is coach. Pretty certain masks notwithstanding, that is him on stage this time. Fourth in the South American Para Games in 2014. 14th, Andre Lewis Paz was in the World Championships last year. So 177, this is to take the lead by 22. A good lift, and that's the lead for Andre Luis Paz. 177, a new lifetime best for Brazil, and he goes into the gold medal position. Spectacular. That was some <laughs> look of determination. And he showed how he was, and he was good. So that's good. Now it's time to rev up the Quarto for Italy. Andrea Quarto, 185 his target, 190 his lifetime best. 11th in the World Championships. Last year in Belize, on his international debut, won gold in the Manchester World Cup. Early last year, he's from Caserta, from the Palaxtra Club, and his regular coach is Alessandro Borashi. Been one of the key national coaches for a good few years now. This would be a significant lead in the open competition. Paz are America's leader for now with three to go in this opening round after quarter. We haven't seen him in the Europeans yet, but that'll surely change in the next few weeks in Belize, or next few months anyway. Quarter, 185. Good lift. Three white lights. That's the way to do it. Well, it's always welcome to see a good traveling contingent for these continental championships, these regional championships. And we're definitely seeing that here. He's competitive.
So now, for Brazil, Jose Silva is going for 190 in this opening round. His first major championship at the age of 31 and going high at 190. Well, he's not wasted any time with this at all. It was still 131 on the clock, 190 on the bar, and he's raised it, and that's the lead. What an amazing effort. 190, a new lifetime best. And he rockets out into the lead. Tremendous. What a display, two to go. Bobby Body next of the United States, going for 202, 10 kilos above his lifetime best, finished ninth at his major championship debut in the Worlds at the end of last year in Belize. Bobby Body, it is. Going for 202. First time that he would clear over 200 kilograms in competition. Aiming for a lead of 12. From uh, St. John's, Michigan. He was in the US Army in Iraq. He was actually born in an army hospital. Spent a lot of time around that. Uh, Coach Mary Hodge on stage with him. And 202 for Bobby Buddy for the United States. <laughs> To open up a significant lead of 12 kilos. Considering that 192 had been his best going into this, it's not anymore. 202 is a big lead for the USA. For Bobby Buddy. What an effort. How good was that? Good and clean at a major weight. Most he's attempted successfully ever. And he got there. Job done. But more to do. Final attempt of the round to come from the reigning America's champion Pan Am Silver World and Paralympic Bronze for Colombia. Fabio Torres going for 208. He's been a 2-6, 2 man in his career. 220 at this weight. To surpass Bobby by six kilos. Fabio Torres, bronze in Tokyo, the Paralympic Games. Fifth in the world in Belize, but before that, bronze in Mexico City in 2017, bronze in Nur Sultan in 2019. Silvers in the last two, Para Pan Ams in Toronto and Lima. 
gold at the last Americas in Bogota. Silver in the previous one, 2015 in Mexico City. Torres at 208. He can definitely go heavier than that on his day. Only uh, two misses so far of the nine attempts to date. From Alcinea of Kuwait and Vasquez of Panama. Fabio Torres. 208. A great 208. Three white lights. He leads by six. Clear of Bobby Body of the United States. Fabio Torres showing his strong form is still there. How far can he go? Mightily impressive. And he knew that it was good enough. Still on 103 is Swaid Alcinea of Kuwait in his first major championship. So it's 103, this would be a lifetime best for him. This for 103 to go into ninth position in the open competition, actually eighth position in the open competition ahead of Scott Glass, but the Canadian has his right of reply immediately after. So 103 for Suwaid Alcinair for Kuwait. Punch through well is it good. It's not. Nothing wrong with the press. It was all on the stop sequence from our three referees. Bit to get right. If he can backstage. So we go on to Panama and Gabriel Vasquez. 105, still aiming for that, having missed it in the opening round. 95 is lifetime best. It's his third major championship after claiming Central American Games bronze four years ago. Panama, by the way, have given us a great idea for coach, on stage coach identification of now on. It's so we always say, and we're at pains to say it, person who's their coach day in, day out, isn't always the person who gets to get on stage with them on the day. That's the day-by-day -day person that we always reference.
So Gabriel Vasquez, 105. To add 10 onto his long-standing lifetime best. To go through the Dunn barrier for the first time. His first attempt wasn't the best. This one again, and it was the stop sequence. Also was the press. Two for the stop, two for the press. So nobbled by both, by uh, the two referees who voted him down. One referee, the side referee, actually was satisfied from their angle. Stop sequence, look here, it's not really coming against the chest very well. It's a bit of a double movement as well. And Oh, was it equally pressed out? Whatever it was, it didn't work out. The man who's impressed greatly in able-bodied powerlifting competitions. Fell into the sport in the last three years. So this to add seven onto the board, he would stay in sixth place after Alcinea and Vasquez both missed their attempts. So 107 for Scott Glass to add seven onto the lifetime best achieved in the opening round for the man from Regina. Start. Regina. Press. Break. No. Two one against. It was the press sequence from both referees and Scott Glass misses out. Two to one. Just from here. Stop sequence they felt was good. Curiosity about the three who have missed in this round so far, two of them missed in the opening round. Out of those six attempts between those three, only one good so far, that by Scott Glass. Very first attempt of the competition. For Kazakhstan, Askat Zhumanov. Hundred and fifty. His latest goal. Again, it's 11 kilos inside his lifetime best. I'll have a bit of a confidence about this, you would imagine. In terms of the open competition, he would stay in seventh place, five behind Frank Feliu. If he were to get this, he'd still be 27 behind Andre Luis Paz in fifth. Standards quite strong in the heavier weight attempts. Ashkat Zhumanov, 150, and it's a good lift. Three out of three for the man from Kazakhstan, who was originally looking at something a little bit lower in this round but 150 is his well uh, firm control Ashkat Zhumanov, a 
and he leads in terms of the total lift so far on 295. This man can overtake Frank Fellio of Chile. He'll stay fifth if he gets this in terms of the America's Championship. To get into the medals now, he needs to add 30 onto it. Go up to 190. His lifetime best is 182. Based in Santiago still. It's a significant target for him all the same. 160 it is. Kenny's got that raised quite sufficiently, quite quickly, and it is a good lift as well on 160. Well, there must be a big limit coming very shortly then if he's able to glide through his opening attempts. Good control, and the fact is that that's uh, didn't seem to exert him a major amount. So, on we go. For Brazil, Andre Lewis Paz, he got 177 in the opening round. This going for 185. This to come within five of the medals of the Americas and his Brazil teammate, Jose Silva. Fourth spot it is for him currently, fifth in the open competition. Andre Luis Paz for Brazil, 185. They've had a really successful time of it in the women's competitions earlier with even David Hans leaping up to take gold. Four years since his America's bronze. And like a lot of the compatriots of his, based in Uberlandia. 185 for Andre Luis Paz. Punch through that very well. He's going to go up a step up in the fourth place in the open competition alongside Andrea Quattro. That's 2 1 for Andre Paz. Andre Luis Paz. And on he goes. 185. Can't say much more right now than what he's achieved. It's looking good. Well, Andrea Quarto, who's just been matched in uh, fourth spot for the Open Championship, has got a right to reply now. Quarto going for 191.
Quarto. Brilliant first try and lift of 185. Definitely taking his time before taking his position. 190. His lifetime best, this to add one onto it. It is symbolic. Only his second major championship, but excellent strides have been made. And that went through very well. It's a good lift. Very good lift. Andrea Quarto succeeds 191. Needless to say, a new lifetime best. Good spectacular lifting in this. The main men haven't missed yet. Four have got their first two lifts in. And the final three in this round are looking to continue that. Next to go, Jose Silva. This, another attempt. Got 190 in the previous round. Gunning for 197, a new lifetime best. One nine seven. Yeah. Yeah. Adding seven on to his previous mark and it's good. Oh. Leap back up into bronze in the open competition. He's bronze anyway in the Americas. One nine seven, a remarkable lift by Jose Silva. The real strong men are coming out now. That's not to say that what we've already seen are strong men, they definitely are. But the heaviest weights of the week are coming here. Powerful stuff. Torres leads in 208. Bobby Body going here for 212. Start of the day on 192 as being his lifetime best. Came into the competition, got 202 with his first round attempt. So that set his new standard, and 212 is his target now. He's going big here. 20 kilos was the man from Michigan. Bobby Body, right on cue. Been doing this for about 10 years. Let's go, Bobby. Let's go. Went to Ferris State University, big rapids in Michigan, justice studies qualification it's been in uh, international able-bodied powerlifting as well <laughs> different circuit obviously Start. 
2-12 for Bobby Buddy. What an ask. Oh, he got that up. It kind of got interrupted along the way. 2-1 against him on the press sequence, which just didn't work out. He stays in the silver medal position. Fabio Torres still in gold. But that was quite the effort. And yeah, it was just shades of being drifting down a bit there. Having halted, just look at his right hand. I think it just weighs down. So two of the referees have gone against. One more to go. The America's champion. And he still wants to be in half an hour's time from Bogota, the former footballer. Jefferson Drogo has taken over national team coaching this year. Had been Henry Oviedo for quite a while and he's played uh, obviously a big part in the long term structure of what these competitors have become. Fabio Torres, 2.16. Thirteen kilos off the America's record of Jose Castillo. Well, if he gets this, lead of 14 over Bobby Body, who then has to seriously think about what he does with his final round attempt, especially as Jose Silva of Brazil is trying to match Body in the final round. Andrea Quarters trying to leap up into the top three. In terms of the open competition, Andre Luis Paz trying to jump up into the top four in the open competition. They're all having a look at each other and thinking that, well, there's a bit of man marking going on if they can climb up and join. Person above them in terms of the standings Get a chance for a share of the medal. Fabio Torres isn't thinking about this. This is firmly about the win. 2-1-6 for Colombia. Fabio Torres has that raised. He has it raised well. And it's a good lift. It's 10 off his lifetime best. He can go higher. But can the rest? 2-1-6. Fabio Torres. And that in its own right might already be good enough for gold. The Colombians in the crowd have their major sense of overjoyment and they are right too. Super lift. What an immense effort. And it's left the rest behind in his way. As we go to the third round, and Suwayed al of Kuwait has missed his first two attempts at 103. He and Gabriel Vasquez have suffered that. And it's just trying to fix it. So I and El Sineza for 107. It would be again a lifetime best. He's had two goals at that at 103, but the man from Kuwait's missed out. This to go eighth in the open competition. It's major championship debut at the age of 54, but as you always say, there's so many who come into para sports who arrive in at a, at a late age. Won't have been there from day one. 107. Yes, he has got that right. He's got the mark, and in many ways, he stayed in his path. Goes eighth. 
did what he came to do. Well, we didn't see him in the Asia Oceania Championships the other week in Korea in Pyeongchang. He's come here instead and he's done a really good job. Really strong, really firm quality. Puts the pressure on Gabriel Vasquez and Scott Glass certainly is overtaking those two. So chance for Gabriel Vasquez to put right what's gone wrong for him so far. Two attempts at 105, this for 113. And again, it's for a lifetime best without 18. Onto his all time mark, the Central American Championship bronze medalist. It's all opening up for the Panamanian. Maxino Viquez guiding him through. So 113 for Gabriel Vasquez for Panama. Done. Who've enjoyed their first ever championship medal at uh, right. America's this week. Vasquez is good. He's on the board. Everybody's on the board. That's what you like to see. 113. He goes up into sixth place in the America's championship. Eighth in terms of the Open. And Vasquez... Won't win a medal this time. But he's shown consistency. So Scott Glass, 115. As he looks to climb up into six spots in the America's Championship. But he would still be 50 kilos, more or less, outside of the top five. But he's on the way now. Competed at the Canadian Masters Weightlifting Championships. It's competed in para weightlifting as well. That's according to uh, the Canadian bodies. I'm, I'm sure they mean this, you know. Scott Glass, 115. Being helped on by Eric Beaudry. Done. So 115 for Scott yeah. Glass. That's awkward. Yeah. Has he managed to push that through equally? No, no the press nice. didn't look right. Not quite punching through with equilibrium. So he misses out, got the 100 in the opening round, but not the other two. Still a lifetime best all the same, breaks 100 for the first time. Next up for Kazakhstan, Ashkat Shimonov. He's ready. For Kazakhstan. So 
So Zhumanov, who has a lifetime best of 161. Coming here instead of competing in uh, Kuntek the other week at the Asian competitions. Aha! So here we are. 155 for Shimanov. Shim. And that is no lift for Askat Shimanov at 155. Asked uh, too much all against him on the press. Got the first two. You might almost say glided through the first two, comparatively anyway. It's never easy. Not when you're talking about weights like this. Just began to, that's not under control, so that's not gonna get cleared. Has to lock it out and there's just by the top, it's, it's moving around so much, it has to be under control, was noticeably struggling at the top, so that's not gonna be called. Frank Fellier going for 165. He's had a really good run so far. Now, if he gets this, he takes the lead in terms of the overall total weight. Nobody's got all three lifts so far, but he's got his first two. 155, 160. This for 165. His lifetime best is 182. Frank Feli, 165, looks confident for it. And he's got it. Three white lights for Frank Feli, and he leads in terms of the total lift, 480. And there's only three in the America's Championship who can overtake him. That was nice and confident. That's just what you want. Five to go. Fabio Torres looks insurmountable for Colombia in terms of the gold, but there are big battles awaiting. So, Andre Luis Paz currently in fifth spot in the open competition. This to go fourth, aiming for 191 here, which by 18 would be a new lifetime best. So, Andre Luis Paz, good prospects here for Brazil. The America's bronze medalist last time, won't win a medal this time, and that was a real mountain to climb. He's not got that for obvious reasons. Bit livid that it didn't go his way, but it was lopsided on the way up, and that's it. That's never going to be given. So 177 or 185, 185 is best of the day. Doesn't get 191, it would have been another leap up the table. But that's gone wrong there. 
<laughs> just as the music slows, just as the lift slowed. And he's unsuccessful. And he was not happy about that. Four to go. Andrea Quarto from Italy going for 197. This for a share of the Open Championship bronze. There's good assaults at the next level up, the next medal up each time. Hundred ninety seven for Quarto. That would be a new lifetime best by seven. One nine one his new lifetime best in the previous round. For the man who was eleventh in the world championship in his major championship debut in December. And that gold in the Manchester World Cup when he made his international debut has got a sign of being quite handy. Big prospects in the European Championships in a few months' time at the end of September in Georgia. Again, quarter 197. Well, he kept it moving. Is it good enough? It is good enough. Oh, he's got up there. Right now, it is joint bronze in the open competition with Jose Silva of Brazil. A new lifetime best, 197, and he's up in the third place for Italy. And what's more, he now is in the gold medal position in the total lift. Frank Fellew second in that. Fellew leading the America's Championship in the total lift. And he will be guaranteed a medal now. There's only two who can knock him out of that. That's fabulous by Andrea Quarto. How good. Three to go, Jose Silva for Brazil. This for 202 to go into a share of the silver medal with Bobby Body of the United States. And if he gets it, then Andrea Quarto would be knocked out of the top three in the open competition. He's got that up well. Is it good enough? It is. It's 2-1 for Jose. up into silver alongside Bobby Body. At worst, it will be bronze. Terrific. Not so much for Quarto, but definitely for Jose Silva. Just the stop sequence to one vote against him. But no issues elsewhere. 202, he breaks the 200 mark for the first time. And that is an epic lift. So, Bobby Buddy, 212. Come very close to getting it in the previous round, previous attempt. This would have him in the silver medal position outright. If not, it would be a lifetime best again for Buddy. Started at 192 today with a lifetime best. Then went to 202, missed 212, going for 212 again. Well, this is not going to win him gold, but it will be silver. It'll be his first major championship medal. It'll be a fourth at these championships for the United States, their most successful ever. They'd won two medals previously in America's championship history. 
Four off the gold. Missed 212 last time. And he's going to miss 212 this time. But it is still silver for Bobby Body. A share of that tied with Jose Silva. 202. And he is on the podium for the United States. Terrific. This time, maybe the strength had sapped a little bit. Because he'd got it raised last time. It was two and against him, but nothing's coming this time in the shake of the head because he knows that's not going to get any better. So it's a lifetime best of 202, a share of silver with Jose Silva. They can obviously elect to go again on a head-to-head -head lift if they wish. Fabio Torres up now. He's got 208, he's got 216. This for 220. Jose Silva wins gold in the total lift and 589. If Fabio Torres doesn't get this, if Torres does, he's got all his lifts and he wins that as well. He is the champion anyway. Silver leading 5.89. Quarto of Italy, second 5.73. Frank Value third for Chile, 4.80. That is the American silver as well. Torres right now is in fourth, which is the American's bronze. So he's on that podium. It'll be either bronze or gold for him. And he doesn't want to do 2.20 now. He has the right to go for 2.17. And that's what he's going to do. And that would win him that gold anyway. So, Fabio Torres. Oh, actually, yeah, it's gone back to 220 again. I have to put an extra three kilos on it. You can see that total mark of 424, which is fourth in the open total lift, third in the America's total lift. He is the America's champion, he is the open champion. He's going for it, 220. His lifetime best is 226 anyway. Fabio Torres lifted 218 to win four years ago. Only won the open crowd by two kilos because of Kai Huichao of China. Took the open silver, Rodrigo Marquez, the America's silver and 187. Paralympic bronze for it. That was in Tokyo. Lifted 221 for that. Said Hamid Solit Poravanji of Iran, the silver, 222. Yan Pan Pan of China, the gold, 227. Torres, third in that. Fifth at the World Championships in Belize. Oh. Oh. This for 220. Go! 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 Torres lifted 218 in uh, Georgia. Soli Poravanji took the goal 225. This for the clean sweep 220. He is the champion. This to add the total lift gold as well. And it's going up at 220 for Fabio Torres, and he has it. A good lift. So White out and he is three in a row of them. He wins the total lift. He is the champion anyhow. Fantastic.
Well, what a fine competition. A tie for the silver. And it will stay that way as usual. No tie for the gold. Fabio Torres takes that and what a job he's done with it as usual. And he wants more. He's thinking of the America's record. Jose, Jose Castillo holds that for Mexico. 229 set at Rio 2016 at the Paralympic Games. Fabio Torres is going up to 230. He feels in good form for it. He wants the America's record. 226, remember, is his lifetime best. won the total lift. Frank Fellew. The Americas bronze. Jose Silva, the Americas silver. And the open silver as well. Quarto has taken the open bronze in the total lift, so he does leave with something after getting all three of his lifts in. A total of 573, Silver 589, Fabio Torres 644, Frank Fellier with the America's bronze 480. So, aiming for a new America's record of 230, Fabio Torres going now for Colombia. And why not? And 2.30, his target. He's still got two minutes to go for this. We've seen a couple of times where it's a real collector's item. I've not seen it happen twice to the one championship before where the clock ran out of time. It is such a rare event that it happens even once at a championship. Fabio Torres, all the time in the world. He's the America's champion again. For the second time. An America's silver and two para Pan Am silvers. Two world bronzes, Paralympic bronze in Tokyo for the former footballer who runs his own foundation, charitable foundation. And now, can he get the America's record? So, Fabio Torres for the America's record of 2.30 to break the mark of Jose Castillo. That stood since Rio 2016. Fabio Torres, 230. He's got a raise. Is it under control? The wave continues. We'll go to the flags. Get ready. Yes! Three over three. The America's record belongs to Fabio Torres. That's the way to do it. Torres in 
full control. And now, the flag is out, the joy is out and unconfined. Fabio Torres takes the title for Colombia and he has the America's record too. Under control all the way through. A really great, powerful piece of strength to get that raised up and to claim the record. Took a while to come, they had to go to the flags. Wasn't coming up in the computer system. Went the old fashioned route and what a strong win from this strong man. He's got the flag already. That's not something you see every day. Victory ceremony is on the way. Fabio Torres will get the gold. Bobby Body and Jose Silva a share of the silver medals.
So joint salves for Jose Silva of Brazil, Bobby Bonney of the United States, his first major title, Fabio Torres, the champion again with a new America's record of 230. And doing it for Colombia. What a success. A memorable time for him. And those shared silvers. And of course, as our Italian competitor quarter was knocked out of the top three, they get the double medals. Terrific success for Fabio Torres. He picks up the gold for Colombia. The new America's record of 230, breaking the old mark of Jose Castillo of Mexico that had lasted six years. The joint Silva is for Bobby Body of the United States. Jose Silva for Brazil. And for both, their first major championship medals, particularly for Jose Silva. It's his first major championship, full stop. Great appreciation for them all. with Lieutenant Colonel Hengel, the commander of the 375th Logistics Readiness Squadron at Scott Air Force Base, and Amy Weymar, the president and CEO of Paraquad in St. Louis, presenting the medals and the mascot. And in terms of the total lift competition, Torres with the gold in that, silver, the silver, Frank Thelieu, the bronze, and the open bronze going to Andrea Quarter. That'll be happening in the atrium in this William Persis Center. And very soon, the men's up to 107 kilo final will be starting. Well, we're straight into the next event. It is the men's up to 107 kilo final. And we've got four going in this. Two from India, Arun Ranga and Jaginder Singh for Brazil. Matias Diaz of Silva and the great Jose Castillo for Mexico. And they're already on their way to be introduced to the public here. At these World Para Powerlifting. Para Power and American Open Championships in St. Louis. Men's up to 107 kilo final is coming now. The over 107 will follow in 45 minutes. 
And these are the four in it. Aaron Ranga, Jaginder Singh, both of India. Matias de Assis Silva of Brazil. And Jose, Jose, of course, Castillo of Mexico.